guys, good morning. So it is currently 8.12. I am finally here to hopefully, fingers crossed, get my bottom wisdom teeth out. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, I just don't want to talk really loud in here. But I just got finished getting checked in, so I'll have my consultation and then they'll see if they can go ahead and extract it out after all. If not, we do have to make another appointment. But I hope they get to extract it because I've been in so much pain. I literally woke up at 4 a.m. today and my ibuprofen had like, um, what is it, um, worn off. And so I woke up with so much pain in my tooth and it was so bad because my gums are so swollen. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can and then most likely my girl might take over uh, filming for me if I am a little too sleepy. <laughs> but if not, I'll be recording for you guys. So stay tuned for what happens next. So this is the x-ray of my mouth. Before I go into what the arrows are pointing at and what's in the circle, I did not end up getting my wisdom tooth out on September 1st, which is what from this last clip and where this x-ray is from, uh, due to basically the nerve. So where the top red arrow is pointing, that's where the nerve that you have technically by your jaw for your mouth um, runs to. And then where the second arrow is at the bottom, that's somewhere where it kind of tends to fade out and then in the yellow circle it's kind of hard to see but there's a little bit of a dark patch there and it's a little pocket that's sitting behind my tooth so my tooth kind of looking at the x-ray it was hard for the dentist or the doctor dentist okay well it was hard for her to be able to see if the nerve was either wrapped around the tooth or kind of how the tooth was sitting with the nerve which could cause permanent or temporary um numbness to my mouth and possibly my tongue which is kind of what scared me the most but that was just worst case scenario but they did go ahead and refer me to go to an oral surgeon so I went ahead and held off on getting it pulled that day but then going throughout the day I was like you know I should have just went ahead and took it out so I went ahead made another appointment unfortunately they were already booked so I was gonna have to wait till October 8th um, but I did get put on the cancel list so that way if a cancellation happened, I was able to get bumped up. And I did, so now on to September 13th. So actually on September 5th, on this first video, all of a sudden I was laying down and I felt some like liquid in my mouth and I was like, okay, this is not spit. And I realized it was blood. And then in the next clip, it's just kind of after it stopped bleeding, I was just trying to see on what the tooth was looking like. Hey you guys, so it is now, ooh, how long ago is that? Probably about three weeks ago, I believe. I'm sure I'll, I'll put it on the video when I edit. Um, I am currently on the way now to go get my wisdom tooth finally pulled out. It is September 13th, um, so it's been a little bit. Um, luckily, we got out of class early. Um, I like went to go tell the professor, like, hey, I'm gonna like leave early because I don't want to just like walk out and he's like, where are you going? So I was like, let me just kind of give him a heads up, like, hey, I'm gonna leave a little early. And class ends at 3.15 and I didn't realize it until I had already accepted the appointment, like realizing like, oh my gosh, class doesn't even get out to 3.15 and the appointment's at 3.30. So right now it's 2.43, so I have a little bit more time to get over there. Um, but I have to go like across town, so let's hope I make it. I should though. So, um, oh my gosh, I've said so many times. So, so, I have said so, so many times. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous as you can tell, but... Okay, well, since I'm on the way, I did bring my camera to film just in case my phone just, I want to be able to listen to music and I have my AirPods with me, like my phone is charged, I'm going to finish, keep charging it right now. Um, because every time I've gone to the dentist, my phone has always died or my AirPods die and especially since I'm getting this tube pulled out, I really want to be listening to music. So I did bring my camera, I'm going to go ahead and film in there. I probably won't talk though I'm gonna do a voiceover for that just so obviously I can't really talk either my mouth is like open with all these dentistry tools <laughs> but yeah so I will catch up with you guys once I make it to the place okay you guys I just made it it's 310 so I have about 20 minutes 
Um, I'm trying to let my phone charge up a little bit and then I'm gonna go inside. And then we're gonna hand it over to my voiceover. So, pray for me, you guys. I hate, hate, hate getting numbed. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I'm getting numbed. But like the shots, like the little sting it has to it, and just the gel, like the kind of like how aura gel, like the that effect of the numbing gel, I just do not like that at all. Because I had a very bad experience when I was younger that they left me in like the room with no little like vacuum sucker thing to get out all my saliva. So my mouth was full with saliva because I was already getting numb, and I went to go swallow some of it, and it had the oral oral gel in it like the numbing gel whatever and it made my throat so numb that I got so scared that I thought I was gonna die because my throat was closing but in reality it was just numb but okay you guys wish me luck see you guys when I get out I just had to put this in there the office was giving me very fall vibes very cute it was finally time to get numbed up with the gel shout out to my wisdom tooth team there in the back I just want to give a quick shout out to Dr. Tovar and just seeing this award in the lobby, I was like, yes, but thank you so much for taking out my wisdom tooth. Hey you guys, so I just got out, um, I can't feel this whole right side because it's numb, it's hard to hear me, I'll probably end up voiceovering this part. Um, I. I'm sorry, I didn't really get to film in there just because, one, it happened super fast, two, I also didn't want to be in their way um, of when they're pulling it out, and if I just set the camera, you know, somewhere far, you guys couldn't really see anything, but I did get one suture, and I have gauze in right now, um, and then I did get, that was my gauze, I did get my tooth. I don't know if you guys really want to see that but yeah it's kind of a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be but yeah that's kind of cool and then they did also give me a little syringe to just rinse up my mouth um and then my gauze I do have to take uh this gauze out in about 20 minutes to put in another one so I'm on the way home right now. I'm technically supposed to work at 5, uh, which I work remotely, um, but I'm also supposed to be on the phone for work today, so I'll probably just end up working on my tickets, um, like for work, but yeah, I will update you guys once I get home and get settled in. Um, I also do need to take ibuprofen uh, because I'm sure as soon as this numbing stuff wears off, I'm going to feel some pain. <laughs> So I'll see you guys once I get home. you guys so little update it is now seven o'clock um i changed out my gauze one more time after that last one so i filmed twice and then changed it ooh, changed it another one after that um we had spaghetti for dinner so i've been trying to eat that like slowly because they're like the super thin noodles that way i could just kind of mush them and eat them so my mouth is still kind of numb. It's not mainly like my cheeks numb anymore. It's just like the front of my lip is numb. So it's been okay. <laughs> the pain isn't too bad. I already took my ibuprofen. So, and I'm still working. Luckily, I have only had one call. Um, barely now. So it's been two hours since I've been working and only had one call. 
Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to take it easy. I have one homework assignment to do, so I'll catch up with you guys probably later tonight. Hey guys, so it is... Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. So it is now 8.56. Um, this will probably be the last clip that I film for today. Um, I did just... Oh my gosh, I did just want to give a little update. Um, my mouth has obviously stopped bleeding since earlier. Um, I did take my ibuprofen already, like I had said. Um, what else? It's not really bothering me. Um, it's just like, in general, like I feel it kind of like, not tug, but there's like a little bit of pain there, but it's not super bad. Um, my dentist though, she actually actually did call me not too long ago um asking me uh how I was doing how just if I was having any pain or anything like that and I was like that was super sweet so Dr. Tovar if you're watching this you're amazing <laughs> but um yeah so that was pretty cool haven't had a dentist do that then again I was like telling my girls like uh every dentist I've ever gone to like because I've gotten a different tooth pulled out when I was younger and I'm like okay maybe they call my parents but that's better for the doubt I doubt that though but um yeah that that was pretty cool but I just finished my homework I'm gonna work on some cups that I need to have done by tomorrow so I can go ahead and either ship those out and then also um get others just delivered so yeah that's all I have for you guys for the rest of this evening, I'll, cap with, I'll catch up with you guys um, if I wake up in the middle of the night with any pain or anything like that. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey you guys, it is currently 10.50 um, at night p.m. <laughs> um, sorry I didn't really update earlier. I just didn't really have too much pain. Um, but I was supposed to wake up, oh, and this is glitter, I've been trying to rub it off, I've been working on cups and working on the Halloween drawing, so stay tuned for those. Um, but I set an alarm last night for about 2am, so that way I could take my next round of ibuprofen to help with the pain so I could sleep through the night. However, some way, somehow, I know before I set the alarm, it was like, oh, for 2pm, so I switched it to a.m., and no alarm went off at 2 p.m. today. So it was 4 a.m. And I just don't know if I turned off the alarm or I just didn't hear it. Because, you know, Apple alarms, they just don't turn off unless you turn them off. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. I didn't end up waking up to take the medicine. And I ended up waking up later in the evening or like earlier in the morning, whatever. Um, with a little bit of pain. Um, it's not that it was like pain. It was like still like my mouth just felt tired, um, but I didn't end up taking the ibuprofen so I got it for work um, and then I waited a little bit and took it about like 7.30 this morning and then took another round. This will be my last round for this evening to help me just sleep with no pain. Um, pain has been pretty tolerable today. It hasn't been too bad. Um, the only thing is I can feel where the suture is. I can feel like the little... Um, like the excess of the suture that they left it's like poking the top of the poking my top gum and it's not bothering me a lot it's just I feel like I have a piece of hair in my mouth and it keeps bothering me I keep trying not to touch it which I've been doing really good but yeah so that's all I have for you guys for tonight um I will go ahead and update you guys again for tomorrow which will be the third day uh post getting my wisdom tooth pulled out and We'll go from there, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to day three um, after I got my wisdom tooth out. Um, it has been doing a lot better. I haven't had as much pain. Um, I was late with taking my ibuprofen this morning, so my mouth started hurting. I didn't realize it until I was supposed to take it at 7 because I get up for work anyways before that. And then I didn't take it. And then I went to go run all my errands and it wasn't until almost like noon that my I was like my mouth is starting to hurt. I'm like what the heck like I even took my ibuprofen. Then I realized I didn't take my ibuprofen because I had ate a little bit later. So um, I just got out of inventory which you'll see in the next vlog. So I'm a bit tired but I'm going to make some uh, ramen and I have.
have my Gatorade so that way I can eat something before I take my ibuprofen. I'll go ahead and insert an image somewhere right here so that way you guys can kind of see like what the stitching is looking like. I don't know how much you guys can actually see. I mean, I can still fill the little suture. I think I had mentioned that to you guys. But um, yeah, so it hasn't been super bad. There is like no swelling, at least that I can tell. And there's no more bleeding. Um, my mouth hasn't been as sore as it was yesterday a little bit and then of course obviously the first day or like the day of that I got the wisdom tooth pulled out so that's good so actually you guys uh before this does cut to the end of the video um I haven't been filming me obviously brushing my teeth because I didn't think that's something you guys want to see me do every night or every morning and every night but I know I've been filming at night um but what I did want to film is uh since it is the third night I could have used it yesterday but I decided to give it an extra day and just did normal teeth brushing is I got a special mouthwash like since my tooth got extracted um, so I'll go ahead and film that to put in to see kind of how it does with my mouth and see if it does hurt but I'm gonna brush my teeth first and then I'll go ahead and come back when I do the mouthwash actually wasn't too bad I did try to let it uh, kind of be in that area I guess a little bit longer and then I would swish to the next side or lean my head to the other side so I would avoid the swishing back and forth uh, so much since it's still only the third day um, now I'm gonna go ahead shower get my laptop start editing videos and just lay down and relax go to sleep because it's already 12 13 and i do have to be up early for work in the morning or be up early in the morning for work but yeah now to the end of the video i guess this is it you guys because i mean my mouth has been doing fine and sorry if this video was a little boring <laughs> it was a little more dramatic than i thought it was gonna be um or it's less dramatic than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing though. But alright you guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next video that I'm posting, which is a vlog, and um, or another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you are following my Nana account, and of course, as always, stay safe and stay tuned for more videos. Peace. Sinoa, Sinoa, Sinoa